just to be in the presence of God, to a place where we can come together and worship and thank God. No matter what our circumstances may be or what we went through, we still have this wonderful opportunity to say, Lord, we thank you. Amen? Amen. Everything is not perfect. Amen? Amen. 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 We, we still have bills. I'm sorry. I still have bills. Yes. Amen. But I thank God. Amen. Yet, I'm still, I have a job. Yes. And I give God praise. And we need to take time to say, Lord, we thank you for all that you have done because God is a great, great God. Come on, let's give him a little hand of praise. He deserves that. Amen. Yes. Just to bless and honor his holy name. Thank you, Lord. God is a great God. Amen. And I am just grateful, so grateful to all the things that he has done and continue to do in my life. Thank you, Lord. Amen for another day. All right, I got about a 15-minute sermon. But if you don't say amen, it's, it, it immediately doubles to 30. <laughs> and if you're very quiet, that's even 45 minutes on it. So, you know, it's, yeah, amen. amen. But if the Holy Spirit gets hold to me, it might go two hours. Amen. <laughs> I just love God. Amen. I just want to share. I tell you, I've had a, a, a wonderful week, and I just thank God for what he has done. Um, he's just a great God, how he keeps us, prepares us, holds us, and regulates our minds. So I just want to share a passage of Scripture with you uh, out of Leviticus this morning. Need a Bible? Raise your hand. Amen. I'm, I'm, sometimes I preach a lot of New Testament. Amen. So go on and say Amen. Amen. I'm not afraid of the Old Testament. I just do more New Testament preaching. Amen. So, but I want to look at this passage of Scripture in Leviticus chapter 19. Amen. Leviticus chapter 19. Give him his medicine. He all right? You all right, man? He came through surgery this week. Let's give Lord a hand of praise. Amen. Amen. All right. You all right? All right, I know. All right. Leviticus chapter 19. Amen. Oh, have mercy. Oh, have mercy. Let's, uh, let's look at, I think we're going to start. Let's, mm, it's so much in this. I should preach the whole thing, but I don't have all day. So just let me give y'all a little bit of this. Um, Lord, have mercy, I tell you. I could, I could really could preach the whole thing. It's, it, oh, Leviticus chapter 19. Let's look at verse 9. Look at verse 9. And it reads like this. When you reap the harvest of your land, do not reap the very edges of your field or gather the gleaming of your harvest. Do not go over your vineyards a second time or pick up the grapes that have fallen. Leave them for the poor and the alien. I am the Lord your God. Do not steal. Do not lie. Do not deceive one another. Do not swear falsely by my name and so profane the name of your God. I am the Lord. Do not defraud your neighbor or rob him. Do not hold back the wages of a hired man overnight. Do not curse the death or the deaf or put a stumbling block in front of the blind. But fear your God, for I am the Lord. Do not pervert justice. Do not show partiality due to the poor or favoritism to the great. But judge your neighbor fairly. Do not go about spreading slander among your people. Watch it, Reverend Bonner. Do not do anything that endangers your neighbor's life. I am the Lord. Do not hate your brother in your heart. Rebuke your neighbor frankly so you will not share in guilt. Do not seek revenge or bear a grudge against one of your people, but love your neighbor as yourself. For I am the Lord. Good God, I see that's, that's good enough for me right there. I'm already shouting. Look, wait, I, I want you to join in this message with me because I need your participation. 
you're not at a rap concert, but we might have to do a little rapping this morning because I, I want you to, to help me with this because every time you hear me say do not, I want you to say why. <laughs> my, my subject says do not, and I need you to respond with why. Let us tell again. Do not. Why? Do not. Why? Do not. Uh, you got your part, okay? Now, now I'm going to do my part because do not, for I am the Lord. Do not, I am the Lord. Do not, I am the Lord. You may be seated in the presence of our God. Amen? Amen. Most of us grew up in households where our parents would give us instructions uh, of things that we could and could not do. Okay, maybe that was, I should have gotten more than that. Wait a minute. Wait. I grew up in a household where I had to obey my mother and my father or there were consequences for my bad behavior. Yeah. Amen. And, and when, I, when I got sassy, or we used the term mannish. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, boy, I dated myself on that. And, and, and that's, I mean, when you don't obey, disobedient, when you talk back when you do funny actions because mama told you to do something and you don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. There's consequences to what we do. Somebody should have said amen. amen. And, and it's important that, that we don't, to, today our children, many times, they get away if we would say with murder. Amen. We allow them to do anything that they want to do and there are no consequences. Amen. amen. I believe in timeouts, but sometimes I'm going to time you out. Amen. You okay, amen, amen. I, I, nothing wrong with time, but every now and then you ought to spank them and then put them in time out. So while they're in there, they can be revving on where you didn't spank them and be reminded of why they receive what they say, amen? Good God Almighty. Do not, because I am the Lord. With we are responsible for our children to train them the way of God. And when you don't do it, you are not doing what God told you to do. Amen. Amen. We have a great and awesome responsibility to, to live right before our kids. Yeah. Yeah. Say it, Reverend Brown, the Lord. What kind of minister would I be, a man of God? What kind of Christian would I be if I didn't live right before my sons? If I had their mama and three other women? And I'm going around telling them, don't tell your mama. What kind of man would that be? I would be in a whole lot of trouble because Kenny would tell it and Donald would co-sign it. We don't want that kind of life, amen? We want to live lives that are pleasing to God. Are you there? So in Leviticus, which deals with the law, it's a whole bunch of laws of how to follow this and follow that. Every time we grew up in our house, our parents gave us so many do not do's that, you know, many of us, when we got of age, the first thing we do is we hit the road. Amen? Because we didn't want to. <laughs> wait a minute. When we got out, and I remember, I just can't wait to get out of my dad's house. I'm tired of him telling me what I can do. And time I got out of his house, here I am adopting some of the same stuff he gave me. Because I realized that what he gave me was right, was true, and was honorable. Amen? That I should respect my house. I should lead my house. Amen? And I should be in control of my house. Amen? Okay, man, that's important, that's important. All right, let's look at the text. When you reap the harvest of your land. Well, if you really, it's Moses giving some instructions to the people about what to do with their crops or harvest or the sacrifices that we make to God. Because sometimes we make sacrifices, they're really not to God. Sometimes our sacrifices are for show. We trying to show other people what we're doing, and we're really not doing it for God. That whatever we do, we ought to do it for the glory of God. Every song you sing, prayer you pray, even when you do things for other people, it ought to be for the glory of God, not for yourself. But many of us, we're doing things for our own selfish reason, and we don't even care about others. You go on and look at the text, the text dealing with our neighbors. If you think about it, have you ever thought about your neighbor, done anything kind for your neighbor? 
Do you even know your neighbor's name? Well, I grew up in a community in Hinkle Ferry. I know y'all know it already. Well, I knew everybody's name. Everybody. I knew. Every. As a kid, I would take a gin sugar. Mama Liza flour. Y'all, y'all ain't okay. I, I, I remember, I remember taking Uncle Mog's syrup. I, I remember mama, mama would give me instruction. You take this syrup over to Uncle Mog. You, you give them this and never tell them pay me back. Because they were our neighbors. And, and it was like neighbors were really family. There was nothing in our house that they couldn't have. My parents would kill a hog. Okay, all right, I know. I know how y'all feel about pork. But back in the day, Lord, I mean, when we was poor, we had to eat hog. I know today y'all eat turkey. But back in that day. We kill a hog, and my mama would take that hog, and I can remember Daddy heating up hot water a net. Right. And I remember four boys would gut that hog, pull everything out of that hog. I remember like it was yesterday. I didn't want that stuff on me, but I wanted to eat. And so I would take a scraper and scrape the hair off that hog. We would cut it up in the ham. Bacon, help me somebody, chitlins, mmm, little pig feet. Oh, I'm just talking about where I grew up. And, and I can remember mama would take that and wrap it up and say, take it down to, to Ike Williams and give them some. Take it down, Lord have mercy, to Liza and them and give them some. I remember sharing because they were our, but now it, I, when I buy some, I take it in my house, don't share it with nobody. I barbecue, and I know it just spoke up the neighborhood. I know that I, I dare, and my neighbor would come out the next day, I can't, he was over there, I smelt it. And I thought about it, he smelt it, but I didn't even take him a leg. At least, but because many times, we don't do that as neighbors. All we do is look over and wave. You stay on your side, and I stay on my side. But the Bible teaches us better. And I want us to look at this text because it really is trying to teach us how we are to live. It says, when you reap the harvest of your land, do not reap the very edges of your field or gather the gleam of your harvest. In other words, you've gathered your harvest or your grapes, your corn. Stop going over twice so nobody else can get none. And that's what we do. Before we'll give away stuff, we'll throw it. Now, how that sound when we throw it away? Hey, you got leftover food. And, and, and where did our kids learn not to eat leftovers? I don't understand that. We're one day old, we, that, they cooked that yesterday. I don't want none of that. And, and before we'll take it down the street and give it to somebody who's on the street, who's hanging out looking for a piece of food, we'll throw it. God's not pleased with that. That when we gleam our harvest, because he's blessed us with so much. We have so much. We have, we have so much. Oh, I, I, I just remember as a kid that, that we didn't have that much. Never do I remember throwing away milk because we would drink it before it went back. But today we have so much that we just let milk spoil and then we just go by another one. Do not. Somebody there. When you reap your harvest of your land, do not reap the very edges of your field or gather the gleam of your harvest. It's just talking about what's left over. That you can gather your harvest and make the grapes, produce the corn or wheat, but when there's something left over, just leave it there. It's good for the land, but look what else it's good for. Oh, do not go over your vineyards a second time or pick up the grapes that are fallen. Leave them for... The poor. So that, number one, it tells us we should be concerned about the poor. the poor. Amen. Because every community, every nation have poor people in it. And what we got to realize, we're only one paycheck away from being poor. Amen. And we have to realize that many times we're not concerned about nobody else because we still have a job. Amen. It's important that we be concerned about those who are poor. They're poor without. And everybody who's poor ain't just about eating. Some of us have to understand that people need other things from us. They're poor because they need some encouragement. 
are poor in their spirituality don't have no hope. But we got to give them hope. That Jesus Christ is the Savior of the world. So look, 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 y'all. So be careful about not being concerned about people who don't have nothing or saying it's not your issue. It is our issue because they are our, that's who they are, Viola. They are our neighbors. And once our world begins to understand that once again, our world will become in a better condition because we realize they are our neighbors. But the problem is we've let money take over us, that if you don't have no money and poor, shame on you, because we will look down on you and we'll not help you because you are poor. But that's not what God is saying. Look, 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 do, be care about the poor and the alien. Look, most of the time they're talking about alien, the one who don't know God and who are in darkness. We'll be to be concerned about them, right? Because if you're an alien and don't know God, who you need? You need God. And if you have God and have an alien, we have aliens on our jobs. And they don't have no space masks on. They ain't come out no spaceship. But they are still aliens because they are in darkness. And they need us. Amen. And we are to bring light. Are you there? That we might help them. Lord, help them. Because, and we do it because I am the Lord. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You got to understand that whatever you do, you do it not for me. You do it not because you like me. You do it not because I'm the pastor, but you do it because of the Lord. He's saying, look, 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 I'm giving you instructions about your fields, about what you have and what you claim. And you, look, take care of it. Do right by it because I am the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Do y'all see this? Text says, do not steal. If you go to read this, start, to get, start getting familiar. Do not lie. Do not deceive one another. What does that sound like to you? The Ten Commandments. What it sounds like. So here it is that the Ten Commandments was written in the Old Testament. But we see it's still good because you shouldn't be lying. Amen. Be careful that because Many of us, as Christians, we lie. God don't like liars. Amen. And I don't like them either. Tell the truth. Amen. There's no excuse to be lying. You choose to lie. And don't you know lying can hurt people to a point that it can destroy them? You lie and say things that is not true. It hurt folk. Amen. It hurts them to their hearts. And next thing they want to, in our world, because we're so weak-minded, the next thing they want, they want to jump off a bridge because of the one lie that you've told. Be careful, amen? Don't say things about folk that you don't know is not true. How you know? Were you there? Did they invite you over? Did you see it with your own eyes? If you didn't see it, stop making assumptions. Amen? Because we say things we have no business saying. Amen. Because we've called many women out of their name. And you were not invited at one time when you claimed they'd done what they'd done. Amen. But you made assumptions. And it's, it's careful because assumptions many times is just nothing but a big fat lie. I'm trying to help y'all. Amen. We got to understand. God said, do not steal. Wait, stop stealing stuff from people. Now, it, we have what we call home invasions. Okay, I, I, they ain't broken yours yet. Hey, but, but we have home invasions where people got enough nerve to break into somebody else's house and take stuff that don't belong to them. Well, maybe you say, I'm not a home invader. But what else have you been stealing from folk? You've been trying to steal their joy, steal their happiness. They got a happy home, happy with their husband. But when you talk to them, you talk to them about junk and how bad their husband, you trying to steal what don't belong to you. I'm trying to help you, Lord. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do not, come on, do not, do not, do not, because I am the Lord. You better stop messing up people's home. Leave it alone. Just do what God says do. Right. Do not steal. Amen. If I ain't invited you over, stay out of my stuff. 
Amen. Do not steal. If I didn't ask you for your two cents, leave it alone. Do not steal. You trying to steal? I got a happy home. Come on, honey. I got, I got a happy home. Lord, I got a real happy home. Amen. You might not like how you look, but I like it. And I don't need no negativity. Amen. Don't try to steal what we have. We got the joy of the Lord. Amen. Why not? Good God Almighty. Good God. Because I am. Lord, wait a minute. And, and you, let, me, let me tell you, don't let people steal your stuff. When folk talk negative, cut it off. Right. Yeah. And let, me, well, let me go where I want to go because this week, for the first time, really, I opened up my own Facebook. I got out there, Mother Jennifer, didn't know what I was doing. But I had a password, <laughs> and I was able to get in. And I began to read stuff. Amen. Facebook will steal your joy. Some of these sites, you people who respond to, they will snatch your joy. Oh, and I've decided to change the lives has one. But if you don't talk junk, I am going to delete. Are y'all there? We got a wonderful administrator. She's going to take care of it. And if I see stuff out there that's inappropriate, delete. You cannot respond. Matter of fact, you can't even get on it. Delete. Because you're trying to steal All right. folks' joy. And then don't get on there lying. Amen? Because we have a whole lot of fake books, liars. Who are we? Are we there? I can't believe that y'all would expose your life. Like you expose it right. to the whole wide world. Right. How can you, what you, you're really letting people inside your home as to what's going on at your house. I don't want to know when you having coffee. Go drink your coffee and leave me alone. Right. Why well, I got to know every step. I went to the movies. I, and while you at the movies, somebody going to steal. Y'all didn't catch it. Y'all didn't catch it. When you didn't informed me that you were going to the movies. I know where you live. You, you've told me where you live. And, and you tell me you're going to go to the movie. Well, the movie takes two hours. I know you don't have an alarm system because you already told me. So why are you at the movies? I'm going to go steal your stuff. And when you come out two hours later, I'm going to get on Facebook. What, girl? Who did that? I don't know why somebody would do that and your stuff is in my house. Good God Almighty. Lord, look here. Do not steal. Do not lie. And do not deceive one another. Don't, don't play with me. Wait a minute. Do not. Do not. Do not. For I am the Lord. And he's trying to make a point to us that we need to carry ourselves in a proper way. Wait a minute. Stop trying to put on deceiving one another like you like me. Why can't you just stand up and tell me that you don't like me? Why can't you just deal with me face to face and say you don't like me? Amen. And when I find out you don't like me, I'm going to love the hell out of you. I'm going to love you, love you, love you. I'm going to love you, love you, love you. But at least I know. Amen. At least I'm not deceived any longer. Hey, I'm thinking you come over to bake me a cake. Because you like me, but you didn't tell me you sprinkled the other stuff in <laughs> so that going to make me happy. <laughs> Good God Almighty. Lord, we got to stop deceiving folks. Wait a minute. Not only Christians, but deceiving people who are in the world. Lord, men, be careful of sprinkling Mickey's in folks' drinks, stuff that don't belong there. Make them act ugly. Make them act crazy. And they don't know where they went or how they got there. You are responsible, Greg. Hmm. You are, you, you are responsible, Greg. Do not. Uh, come on. Do not. Because I am. The Lord watches us. And he holds us higher than he holds the world. He, he, he expects our character. Don't be deceiving people, putting on, acting like 
Don't, uh, don't be phony. Be real. Amen? Call it what it is. I'm real. Amen? Look, I'm real. I know who I am, and I know whose I am. I ain't scared of you. I'm going to tell you exactly how I feel because I love you, Richard. You ain't got to be phony with me. Be real with me. Amen? My mama say call an ace. That's what she say. She just call an ace an ace. Amen? And, and the Lord is trying to tell her, don't deceive one another. Who are you deceiving? Putting on. Amen? Acting like that you love me. Acting like you care some, about somebody, but you really don't care. Amen? God, Lord, uh, mm, Lord help me. I almost see it. So my brother, leave that alone. Amen. Do not deceive. Amen. Why not? Because I am the Lord. Amen. Are you there? Everybody, everybody good so far? Amen. Everybody understand so far? Amen. All right, here we go. You harvest, you don't want to steal, you don't want to lie, and you don't want to deceive. Then it says, do not swear falsely by my name. Now, this is saying, don't use God's name in vain. Stop using God's name as a toy. When we try to prove stuff that we know is a lie. You, 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 you've heard people use, you know, uh, on my mother's grave. Y'all ain't heard that? Well, they're swearing by their mother's grave because the assumption is that, that their mother's in heaven with God. Now, and that's a precious thing to them. So they're swearing by their mother's grave. And you know what you're telling is a lie. Because your mama will come out that grave. <laughs> she would know you'd be lying. And then many of you use that. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what holiness is in that, but y'all do it, y'all. And, and we make it these assumptions, these swears to God. And then, and then you use God's name. Oh, by uh, God, God is my witness. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, wait a minute. I thought I. <laughs> How many times you, God is my witness? Is he really your witness? Because many times we swear things by God's name that's not true. And God's saying, don't use my name like that. In other words, you ought to respect me more than that than use my name in, in, in that type of manner. But when you speak of God, it ought to be holy. It ought to be righteous, but most of all, it ought to be true. Amen. Are you there? Amen. Amen. Are, are you there? Amen. Do not. Lie. Come on. Do not. Lie. Do not. Lie. For I am the Lord. Lord. You ought to respect him enough. Amen? Yes. Amen. You ought to respect him enough and carry his name properly. Oh, Lord, do not swear falsely by my name. And so to profane the name of the Lord, I am the Lord. Do not defraud your neighbors or rob him. Do not hold back the wages of a hired man overnight. Wait a minute. Boy, we, we're supposed to be very kind to our neighbors. And who is my neighbor? The Bible says the one that does the will of my father. Well, we have neighbors in our neighborhood. But if you look to your right, to your left, Guess what you just discovered? Your neighbor. That's your neighbor. That's your neighbor. Go on, look around the church. Go on. Don't be scared. Look around. Look around. Look, look around. Steal your neighbor. I might roll my eyes, Sandy. Steal your neighbor. I might even throw up my hand at you. Don't look over here. Steal your neighbor. But we, what I want to share with you this morning, that you cannot pick and choose who your neighbor is. Right. <laughs> Are you there? <laughs> why not? Oh, did somebody say why not? why not? Because I am. I'm the Lord. Amen. The Lord said you can't pick because he's placed everyone in the body just as it pleases him. So they still are your neighbors. Some of our family members, we wouldn't, we wouldn't choose, right? Amen. But because God chose them, they still are our Some of the folk who have joined our church. We would love for them to leave, right? But they steal your neighbor. You can't do nothing about it. You got to love them. You, I, I got to love you no matter what. I don't care what they say about you. Steal my neighbor. And I got to love you. Amen. It's, it's very important. We got to understand it because I am. The, the command is not coming from me, but it's coming from God. And we have to understand that. We have to obey God. 
or there's consequences. That's right. Amen? To not obeying God. Hey, Lord, Lord. And do not hold back the wages of a hired man overnight. Be careful when you hire folk down at the Home Depot. Yeah. You, you be careful because you think they don't speak English. Come on, hey. You, you be careful. Hiring a, a, a maid in your house who has no English, who we know they don't even have a green card, but they, they come over here and you get, you get them to work for you. You be careful. You don't want to get paid no $2. And, and some of you let them clean your house up, then tell them to get out. Don't pay them nothing. The Bible, look what, look it says, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do not hold back the wages of a hired man or a hired woman overnight. If you hire them, you ought to pay them. Amen. Good God of my. Do not. Why? Do not. Because I am the Lord. The Lord, I'm y'all, y'all better, y'all better catch this because the Lord holds us responsible. And sometimes we do things in the back door. Right. Amen. Lord, and it's, let, me, let me just help you right now because I know some of you like to get paid under the table. Right. Preach Reverend Bonner. Mm. But but the Bible says also obey the laws of the land. In our land, we have what we call taxes. You are responsible, Greg, for your, I don't care, start your business, but you're supposed to pay your, hello, somebody, amen. And it's very important, but many times, we want to skate under the, hmm, amen. That's why, I mean, we can't get the blessings that we want. Time you get the money, it be gone, Anthony. But you got to do right by God, amen. Or God will spank you, hello, somebody, amen. So look out for your neighbor, amen. If you hire somebody, pay them right. Do right by them. And do not curse the deaf, the deaf, or put a stumbling block in front of the blind. But fear God. Mm, I am the Lord. Wait a minute. You know people came <laughs> saying, how many times have we said stuff about people? I think about people who are deaf can't hear you, right? And you can say things they can't hear, but there are people right in our congregation who you said stuff at your house, on your job, in a car with another friend. You said things about them. They deaf because they can't hear you. But you said things to cut them down. The Lord said he's not happy with that. Amen. If you ain't got nothing good to say, you ought to close your mouth. Amen. Because, because I am, I'm the Lord. Y'all wouldn't put a chair out in front of a blind man because you know he's going to fall. And what God is saying is be careful because you, you don't want people to fall because of you. Amen. And you're going to respect them, hold them up because I am the Lord. The Lord. Amen. That's, that's very important that we do this because many times folk are stumbling not because of somebody out in the world, but it's because of the Christians. Those who love Jesus, but yet we think we can treat people with disrespect. God says, no, I am the Lord. I am the Lord, and we need to do right by one another. Amen? Amen. Amen. I tell you, go, go. Do not, do not, for I am the Lord. Wait a minute. Possibly, yes, possibly, possibly could possibly. Maybe y'all didn't get it. Maybe you think you're above that. Maybe you think that, that God is not talking to you, that he's talking to everybody else. Maybe you say to me, you, you don't deal with Old Testament. You only deal with new. But the word of God is true. Amen. See, Tim, there's, there's a little blue box. Bring, bring that here. Let me, let me see that for a minute. Right there. Yeah, that's, there's a glass in there, too. Can you bring me a glass? All right, that is beautiful. Thank you, Tim. Hold the glass for me. Everybody's seen all. This is used to wash clothes. You wash clothes. It has its purpose. It has its job. And I was looking at it. It has some nice words, all. That means all of your clothing ought to be able to use all. You... You, it has its purpose. It can handle whatever you have, no matter colors or whites. I'm one of those guys that would mix everything. <laughs> Amen. And then, hoping I, then when it comes out, I'm wondering why, why this got this on it. Well, I put it all together. Well, I realized I had to put the things together that goes together, even though it does say 
oh, and I looked at this. I began to think about, now, if the Lord told us to do, not do some things, and we should obey God's word, right? Well, when it comes to this detergent that we wash our clothes with, we use it properly, am I right? Am I right? It's used to wash clothes. Well, well, come here, Tim. Help me for a moment. If it's used to wash clothing, well, if I just pour you a little glass. Thank you, Tim. If I just, wait a minute. You just take a little drink. Wait, 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 come on. Don't it look pretty? It makes you a little thirsty. Just, do not. <laughs> do not. <laughs> Don't you want a little bit? Why not? You, well, why you, come on, don't, that look like some of the drinks y'all drink. <laughs> come on, there's a blue one out there, what it, I don't know what it is, but I know there's a blue one out there. Hello? And some, <laughs> no, come on, come on. I know it's one out there, this color. No, don't you want just to taste it? Well, I begin to read the label, and the label says that you're not to ingest. Don't take, don't give to children. If, if, if you drink this, this can kill you. It's not made for drinking. It's made for washing clothes. Well, and if they tell you do not, if they instructions is to do not, and wait a minute, wait a minute, you act like you don't believe, you don't believe me. You, you, come on, take a drink. You know, you don't believe me. You, go ahead and take a drink. But why would you obey, obey them? It, it has limited power. Wait, 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 wait. I know it says all, but it don't have all. It's limited at what it can do. And, 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 and here it is, you would obey this product, but you won't obey God. Wait, 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 come on, come, come on, you, come on, go and take a drink. Don't, don't it look good? Don't it look like it ought to be, you know, if I drink a little, it won't hurt me. Come, come on. But, but many of us will obey this. But you won't obey God's word. Look, I, I begin to look at it. All, I understand, then they got nerve enough to put power on it. As if it has all power, because if you glance at all, you can see all power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it don't have all power. Yeah. It's limited in its power. Yeah. But it represents something. Yeah. And if you put this in dirty clothes uh -huh. and agitate them, yeah. that this will clean your clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, Lord, it'll clean clothes. Yeah. But it ain't no good for sin. Right. I kept looking. I kept looking at all. All. I'm telling you, I, whoever owns this product must have some Jesus in him. Because it says, it, 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 it says, oxygen got an active stain lifter. Wait a minute. It said it has an active stain lifter. I kept looking and I said, oh, powerful and an active stain lifter. Well, I know somebody who has all power. He has all power in the palm of his hand. And what he's done, he, he has an active stain lifter. Wait a minute. His name is Jesus, the Son of God. He's the active stain lifter. He removed all of my sin. Wait, he removed all of my sin. Every one of them, he forgave me. And I'm saved, 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 sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You ask me why. Let me tell you why. Because God, he's the Lord almighty. And we ought to obey him yes. at all times. Yes. Say yes, yes to his will. Yes. Say yes, yes to his way. Say yes, yes. 
to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord a hand of praise. Amen. I am. I am. I am. I am the Lord. I don't want to be accused of being products, but not being God's word. I'm going to obey his word. I'm not going to lie on you. I'm not going to steal from you. Amen. Because God has put an active. I like it because it's active. Because they know I was going to be faced with stuff. But when I'm faced with sin, my active stain remover. Wait a minute. I'm active because the Holy Ghost is active. He's alive in me. That when I'm faced with stuff, amen, that's not in the, the will of God. I change my whole attitude from a do not why to I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. I will love those that despitefully use me. I will love those who lie on me. I will love those who hate me. I will love those who steal from me. I will love those who slander my name. I will because I am the Lord's child. I got to obey God. Amen. 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 Wait a minute. Amen says you agree with me. Amen. Amen. Wait a minute. Amen says you agree with me. Amen. I ought to have a few more with you. Amen. Amen. You ought to move up because you're active. Say amen. 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 Good God, I'm doing. Amen. Why? Because I am. I am the Lord. Amen. You ought to be better, amen. Better. How you treat people, amen. Because I am. I am the Lord. You're doing it for God. Don't lose your focus. Don't lose your focus. You're doing it for God. Amen. Every time you forgive somebody, it's about, it's about God. Amen. Remember, Bob, I just forgave him last week. He messed up again this week. But you have to still forgive. Because I am, I can't hear you. I am the Lord. It's about the Lord. About the will of God. Amen? Amen. He might have did you wrong, but it's about God, right? You have to forgive him. Left you on the side of the road. You had to call your mama and call you up. Still got to forgive him, amen? Next day he called me. I'm sorry. Forgive him. Don't let him come back over, but forgive him. <laughs> I am. I am the Lord. I just want us to learn to forgive one another. Forgive, forgive. Learn to say, I'm sorry. I messed up. I messed. I'm sorry. I messed. I messed up, Omar. I'm sorry. Yeah. Amar, got to, he got to forgive me. See how quickly he did that readily. Yeah. But many of us, we hold grudges. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you here? Do you hold grudges? You, you got to forgive me, girl. Yeah, you got to quickly. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I messed up. Called you out your name. Amen. And I did it twice. Mm-hmm. And you got to forgive me. Amen. I didn't say cut me. Don't get on me. On, don't you put my name on Facebook. Tell my that old preacher down there changed his life. Let me tell you what he did. Mm. Oh, see, amen. Lord have mercy. Hey, we got to forgive one another. It's tough. Amen. It's tough. It's tough. It, it really, it's tough. It's hard to forgive people who done you wrong. Amen. But I am the Lord. I don't care if she did slap you first. Amen. Messed up your hair. Your nice makeup. And then pull your ring nose off. I am. I am. I am. I can't hear you. I am. I am the Lord. It's about the Lord. Amen. It's about the. You got to keep your focus. You got to keep your. I am. I am the. You got to keep your focus. Don't you lose your focus up there at Hercules High. Don't you let them make you act silly. Hmm. Just because they got a little draw on it, think you're going to have one too. Uh uh-uh. uh. I am. You represent God everywhere you go. You say you say, sanctify, filled with the Holy Ghost, act like it. Help me somebody. Because I am the Lord. Amen. You can't, wait a minute, you can't put on images. Amen. You got to be real with God. Because I am 
The Lord, you help me some. I am. Who is that? The, thank you, old. Thank you, dead mom. I am. Damar, I am. Yeah. The Lord. Good God. You we gotta understand that. I I belong to him. I got his characteristics. He expects me to act like him. Because I have his word. He told me what to do, how to do it. Yeah. Amen. I am. The Lord, when you go outside and do things that are ungodly, you are not listening to God. You ought to drink the oil. You ought to get that. Uh, you want some oil? You ought to drink it. Because you want to obey, you, you want to obey the label, but you don't want to obey God. I'm telling you, all oh, the whooping it gives you ain't nothing. But when God whoops you, it's a whooping. God hits you in areas that you can't soothe. Let me. Let me be real. When mama whoop us with a belt, we rub it. It feels better. But when God hits you because of disobedience, he'll whoop you in places you can't even make feel better. You, you thought it was over here, but it was next day, oh, this seemed like you can't even find it. But I promise you, when you go on your knees, you'll recognize him and obey him. That's why wives are to love. Husbands are to love. Their wives, like Christ, love. Amen. And if you love her enough, come on here, Viola, you will give up your life for her. Amen. It didn't say boyfriend. Help me, Ebony. It didn't say boyfriend. Wait a minute. That ain't what it said. It ain't. But y'all treating boyfriend like he your husband. He, he is not your husband. Amen. But like Christ, y'all should have been here Tuesday night. I, mm, Lord have mercy. Y'all missed it. You think you single and free? No, you're not. You are under. If you are saved, you are under Christ. Therefore, you have a responsibility to Christ. And everyone you S-L-E-E-P with becomes your H-U-S-B-A-N-D. I tried uh, boy. I tried boy. If y'all could have saw Jamie, she was, she was, she was, she was right together. She was, she was, she was, God, oh my, oh God, we got to understand, we obey God. Yeah. I'm telling you, she was putting them, she was telling them, what's that? we got to obey God. Amen? Amen. And you promised, how long? Were you married? How long? Forever. How long? Forever. Tell you dead. <laughs> Tell you dead, dead, and gone. Amen? Oh, and then when she dead, I'm going to be at the grave site looking for somebody else. <laughs> because, wait a minute, I'm released. Based on the word, I'm released. Come on, wait a minute. Based on the word, I'm released. Wait a minute. Why is she alive? Wait a minute. Let me help y'all. Why is she alive? Look at her. I give her all the best. She looked the best. Well manicured. Well taken care of. Amen. And I'm going to give her a good burial. But after that, I'm released. Okay, all right, amen. That's the word. That's the word, amen. That's the word. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Good God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. That's the word of God. I am. I am the Lord. I wish I could get more personal with you. And get in each of your life that you can ask me a question so I can give you an answer. Amen. Is it okay, Reverend Mama, that my boyfriend stay over my mother in them house all night? And me and him are in the same room. Is it okay? Mama and them all right with it. But I am the Lord. It is not okay with him. Amen. Oh, and you be careful. Just you got your own apartment. Your own space. He's sleeping in the living room right now. But the more he sleeps over there, the more he thinks he belongs there. But the Bible says it's better to marry, preach killer father, than to burn with passion. You ought to marry. If you love him that much, make him commit forever. How long? Forever. How long? Forever. Ain't no temporary shacking up. Okay, all right. That's my, oh, have mercy. But we want too much stuff temporary. That's why he come in temporary, use you up, and move his address to the next temporary. But the Bible says, I am 
the Lord. And he changed not. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. His word never changes. You have to obey his word. Do what he say do. Amen. 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 So start today. Clean up your life. Amen. Get right with God and stop it. He can go everywhere with you or she can go everywhere with you, but can't come to church. You better check it. I am. Come on, say it with me. I am the Lord. Say it with me. I am the Lord. Come on, say it again. I am the Lord. Come on, say it again. I am the Lord. Say it again. I am the Lord. No, no. I like you at the club. I am the Lord. Come on, like you dance. Come on. I am the Lord. Amen. No, no, y'all, don't you sell God's shot, amen? Uh, it's, it, just, it just baffles me. People come to church, they, they shameful. They quiet mouth at church. <laughs> but go to the party where that person is. If the party starts at 9, don't you get there at 9. Wait till about 10, 30, 11. Then you show up. Watch them. <laughs> okay, I am <laughs> Lord, how much I am. Did y'all get that? Come on, if you got to give God some praise. Give God some praise. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He's a great God and he deserves praise. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Do not. Why? Because I am. I am the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus.